Okay, this one is um, was called in as a structural inspection, but I think there's mold involved, so we'll see uh, what we have on this one. Looks like we're in a 1970s development. <clears throat> as I drove past, I saw a number of people that were out here, but they're not out here now, so let's just see what we got cooking. How are you? Hey, I'm Matt. I'm Garth. Garth, nice good to meet, meet you. you. How are you doing? We oh. got, uh, hey, how you doing, Derek? Hey, good. Good, you? good. I so, think we'll, we'll start outside here probably, I guess, right? And then or sure. do you need to go in first? Uh, tell me, I, I believe, refresh my memory, were we doing a structural inspection today? Uh, yes, yeah, structural, yep. Okay, and so I'll just go where you tell me okay, to go. let me show you yeah, where we got it. We'll, we'll probably need to come in for just a minute, Derek, if that's okay. Yeah. Okay, yeah. thank you. Killer kitty, huh? <laughs> Hi, Shelly. I'm Garth. Good to meet you. Good to meet you, too. Sorry about the glove. But... Oh, all good. I've got a camera on for um, for training home inspectors. Oh, oh. very cool. So um, so this is the area, the, the primary area, and there's one other spot, but where um, water presses in, and, and um, we'll go inside in a minute, but um, uh -huh. what, we, what you see is... Um, like water and even like when it's done sometimes some dirt will soil will be inside on the towards the bottom of this wall and and you know the the bottom of the wall is a couple feet below ground level here so inside so the first thing i'm noticing is you don't have any visible foundation here uh-huh and so yeah you're, you're going to want to expose your foundation mm -hmm. i'm thinking a couple of things already mm -hmm. uh first off is if you've got <clears throat> soil right next to your siding, yep, um, it's going to be a, a haven for termites, etc. Yeah, yeah. Um, also, it's a very easy access for mice. Ah, uh, okay. And so um, you know, and then if you've got uh, water from a source like this, yep. Uh, that doesn't make it over to the other side of the, yeah, and of the sidewalk. Yeah, that's why we put that on there, because it, it clearly wasn't making it. It wasn't. So this actually, once when water comes, this, this um, comes out. It rolls out, yeah. theoretically, hopefully. Yeah. yeah. <clears throat> what I'm going to suggest you do there, I mean, this is a solution, Yeah. but uh, for not very much money, you can do it a thousand times better. Oh, okay. Well, this was just a very quick, like, emergency. <laughs> yeah. Uh, we got to get the water... <clears throat> Right. So what you're going to do is uh, you can get the, the black four inch diameter uh, corrugated drainage tube. Uh, you've probably seen yeah, it. Yeah. Yep. And um, you'll want to just bury that so that it doesn't get pushed around. Bring it down. And yeah. then daylight it out here. You see that your elevation here is actually a little lower than over there. Exactly. Yeah. <clears throat> so maybe, maybe you, you take it that, that way. way. Yeah. 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 Okay. Uh, now, as it relates to this... Well, and the funny thing is, when we bought this, they had just finished a project of adding a bu soil and sod up uh -huh. here. And I, I had the same impression at the time. I thought, that seems odd to, like, put soil up against, right up against these, you know, walls here. But... So this is an HOA. Yeah. Yeah. And they probably own and control the uh, the landscaping. Yeah. Yes. yes. And they they told we told them like you need to, and they said no money in the budget this year. So if you want to fix it, you can go go for it. <laughs> well. So I said okay. I guess that's uh, more good news than bad. At least they gave you permission to do what you yeah. need to do. Yeah. <clears throat> so this is kind of a uh, choose your poison sort of thing yep. because if you dig this down, now yep. you've got a positive drainage or a negative drainage slope right. that forces water into right. the house. Yes, they, yeah. So you're going to want to dig it all and still have as, you know, at least two feet of drainage away from your house. Right. And you could even, uh, if you wanted to do this right, you could uh, use some more of this perforated drain here. Uh -huh. Put it right next to the sidewalk and just drain it all to that corner uh -huh. a, away from the house yep. as much as you can. Right. And, uh, yeah, I think 100 feet of that costs about 60 bucks. Yeah, that's fine, yeah. yeah. <laughs> and... I wouldn't even do grass because if you've got grass, you got to water it. If you're watering it, you're watering the house. Right. And 
So gravel or something is a lot smarter there, right? Much smarter, yeah. yeah. Gravel, rock chips, tree chips. Yeah, that was kind of my... Shoot, you could do uh, pine needles. <laughs> but, <laughs> yeah. Uh, but yeah, there's those uh, uh, bark chips that you can get yeah. for like $3 a bag at yeah. Home Depot. Yeah. Just just anything other than water. Yeah. Okay. Um, Okay, so yeah, what you said we're we're getting water into the living space and yeah. probably mold and probably termites. Yeah, it doesn't seem it's not as bad as I would have thought. We actually had the wall board off on the inside, and, uh -huh. and it wasn't. I mean, you could see that some soil had pressed through from the outside, but there wasn't a ton of mold, and there wasn't like there was one spot where I could tell there had been a mouse, but it wasn't horrible. It uh -huh. was not as bad as I was expecting, but definitely at some points and it's only it seems like when there's a really heavy rain then it seeps down in and then it's pushing a little bit of soil and stuff down so and we'll have to see where where you know the damage is inside yep. but obviously if it's a really heavy rain this is the culprit um, mm -hmm. because your roof drains that way you're not going to get a direct rainfall that's heavy enough to cause a problem here right uh, I guess if it was a super heavy rain and it was coming Driving from this direction, yeah. <clears throat> but that's unlikely. Yeah, yeah. That's the only times it's we've no they've noticed it is when we you know in the early fall when we had those really heavy rains and there was once in the summer uh -huh. we had some really heavy rains and it was. <clears throat> so I have seen where um, maybe they add sand beneath this grass layer. Oh. And the sand, ac sand actually provides an underground ditch that forces water this direction. Oh, okay. So as you excavate that, you'll you'll be able to see that if you have something like that. Okay. Or gravel, same thing. Yeah, sand and gravel. Would be yeah, okay. Any, anything that... Um, and then clay isn't much better. I've got a buddy who... Um, who had a window well here uh -huh. next to this here yep. and they actually injected this is why you want to daylight this this drain tube here yep. he injected the uh, or the previous owner injected the the water into the soil uh -huh. and um, that actually I mean it had to, had to go somewhere and in clay it doesn't like to do anything yeah. so it actually created an underground river that went right into his window well <laughs> Unintended. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, let me lose. Um, <clears throat> so, yeah, I, I mean, consider water to be house poison and you'll yeah. be 80% of the way there. Yeah, okay. All right, let's, uh, what else have you got on the outside or should um, we go inside first? I think first? that's it on the outside. The, the one other spot where they had an issue was back this other <laughs> So I'm just going to note that you've got uh, exposed foundation here. So that's yep. the elevation of your foundation. Correct. Yeah. <clears throat> so you shouldn't have to dig out too much yeah. here. Yeah. yeah, but mice are going to have no trouble getting in there. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, yeah. tell me again what, sh what you've this, got elsewhere. This corner had the same issue. <clears throat> they, they got yeah, this that's... This kitchen right here, and they just, one time when it was really heavy rain, a little bit of water got in front. It wasn't a lot. Uh huh. Seems to be the same thing. Like well, this drain the last thing you need is a water problem. Yeah. Okay. That was it. All right. Show me what we have on the inside. Okay. <clears throat> okay. So just to be clear, for that corrugated stuff, uh huh, we want it to go underground and come out some, somewhere here where it's low. Right. Because if you're running that over your, your sidewalk here, yeah. somebody's going to get annoyed by it and well, move it. Yeah. And they're going to put it here, and then your problem will be worse than it was to begin with. Yeah. That's easy. Yeah. Okay. All right. Oh, do you want to go back to the Okay. Oh. Hey, Kylie. You okay if we come in? Yeah. Okay. Right. Well. Yeah, it's good to know they've got that. Yeah, this was... Obviously, that needs to be maintained as well as possible because if that ever gets overwhelmed, yeah, I'm telling you what you already know. Okay. Well, we found that out the hard way. Completely covered, and this was a School of Hard Knocks has expensive tuition. Yeah. So we're just going to look at this, where the water had come in here, Derek, and 
That's okay. Mm -hmm. It was kind of coming in from that wall, I think, over there, right? Yeah, this wall. I know, I'm going to close over here. We have to go take them and go. But so, a lot, like when I stepped out of bed, literally right here, I was about this far into water. And there was water there? Okay. And all the way from there to. Do you believe that it was. And it couldn't have been coming from through the window. No. Mm, it looks like maybe you got a little bit of water history there, but that wouldn't be, you know, what the water you're describing is. It looks like it there to me, but I don't know. I should have moved that anyway before. Yeah, you've got bulging, and uh, yeah, you got water definitely coming oh, in. Oh, why didn't you notice? <clears> you see that there's a little bit of staining going on right yeah, there. Uh -huh. So right that's where the water's right. coming in, and that doesn't surprise me. Yeah. Okay. And do you think that's mostly from that downspout that's just letting it trickle in? Yeah, your drainage is always the villain. <laughs> I'm, I'm sorry, I should have You're good. Accumulating water right there, right? Yeah. <laughs> And that's, that's the spot where we had that wall board off when we remodeled this, and, and you could see there was a little bit of soil and stuff right there, like it had come in maybe once before. Yeah, yeah, drainage, drainage is about uh, controlling the water near your house, you know, controlling surface water, controlling sprinkler water, controlling roof water. And as easy and obvious as that sounds, nobody ever gets it right. right. Yeah. <laughs> and was that the main spot, Derek? Yeah. Okay. As far as that. Yeah, you can see the, the splitting there as well. And I think that's about where the other ground downspout comes. Oh, yeah. I, I like the I like your first I term. Ground spout. <laughs> Drown spout, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Since we've had those, it's been, it's been I mean it hasn't we haven't had water. any water come yeah. in. Yeah. So so we're we're gonna make that a little bit more permanent. We've okay. gotta get some permission to do some stuff from the HA. Yeah, I was wondering what it should be. Okay. Um <coughs> Yeah, yeah, I think it was yeah. just a little bit right around that. So yeah, this guy is your primary culprit, and this one's your secondary. Okay. And structurally, because I'm I'm here to be the structural guy. Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, you don't have structural issues, but rot mold, termites, probably. Yeah. yeah. Um, and it's unlikely that they will have caused anything approaching a structural problem. Yeah. So that's the good news. But you probably want to treat for those anyway, right? Um, let's talk about that. Yeah. Okay. Thanks, you guys. Thank you. <clears throat> so <clears throat> I have a philosophy about uh, those sorts of things. Yes, treatment is never a bad idea. Yeah. But uh, here's my story. If you were to drop a uh, slice of pizza on your kitchen floor and leave it. Mm -hmm. The mice would find it. Yeah. Um, then you'd have some options. Let the mice grow, or um, you could try to kill off the mice by trapping and poisoning and yeah. building moats. <laughs> or you could build, or you could pick up the pizza. Right. <laughs> <laughs> So, in this case, the uh, the rain gutters are the pizza. If, yeah. if uh, in Utah, if uh, the house is dry, there's nothing in the house that the termites can mess with. I see. Okay. So, <clears throat> while I'll never tell you don't have it treated, yeah. if you eliminate the food source, I mean, uh, any any critter is uh, they're predictable. They're looking for food and shelter. Yeah. And if you provide both, then yeah. they'll find you. So uh, for me, 90% of that solution is eliminating the wetness inside the house. Okay. Okay. And, it, and it hasn't been super wet, you know, 
it's these couple of areas, and fortunately, it hasn't been. We haven't seen a lot of other, you know, moisture problems in the house. Right. Well, and we we have the roof leak that we had. Well, yeah. The HOA fixed when, that. <laughs> when we first got here, there was a roof problem, but, but. Um, yeah, the, um, we we did have a, a full inspection when we bought it, which was just like a year ago. So. Mm -hmm. And and it checked out pretty well. So. Um. Your, I noticed, what year is this home? 1970-something? 70. 74. 70. They were built in 70. <clears throat> okay. Oh. I noticed that your breaker box on this side doesn't look new. No. They've, they've, they've rewired. Oh. Um, not all of it, but most of it they've rewired now. So. Okay, that's good. Yeah. And uh, they've, re they've actually to, they've redone a fair amount of the electric, and then they redid most of the plumbing like four years ago or something. Well, good. Okay. Um... Yeah, your inspector should have given you this story as well. Yeah, he, they had just, I, he, he mentioned it, but they had literally, they were just finishing that project yeah. uh -huh. to like put sod in there. And they had brought in some more soil and put in sod, which I thought was odd to put that up above the <coughs> siding. But yeah, that was uh, not smart. Yeah. Okay. Well, the good news <coughs> is, you know, this is an easy fix. Right. We just have to get permission from the HOA to do what we need to do, but they have no yeah. choice but to give us permission to do yeah. <laughs> That's right. Yeah. Well, it sounds like they've kind of already given you permission. Yeah. He, yeah. He, that's pretty much what he told me is he's like, if you want us to do it, it's going to be a year or two, um, but if you guys want to do it, knock yourselves out. So. And this will be an easy and cheap fix and much less expensive than, uh, than dealing with water problems inside yeah. the house. Yeah. Okay. And much nicer. So is this your first... Uh, property that we, you we have three but this was our, this very, was our first very first one. we bought though yeah uh-huh yeah. how long have you owned it just about a year and a year and a half maybe yeah since yeah. we actually bought it last we, fall yeah. you've been able to buy three in a year and a half yeah that's yeah. that's pretty awesome <laughs> yeah we 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 noticed the market getting a little bit uh, crazy so we figured get get some bought before the market got too out of hand. Well, you probably picked up six figures in equity just on this one, is what I'm it's guessing. It's amazing, yeah. I, I would, it's, yeah, we got a sweet, sweet deal on this, too, because um, it was, it needed a lot of help. Uh -huh. the, the, the inside, we completely remodeled when we bought it. But the HOA, too, like, we have a professional management company now. Before, uh -huh. it was managed by residents, uh -huh. and it, they did not do a good job. <laughs> And so the HOA is really digging out a hole, you yeah. know, to get some big projects done that are, but you know, you yeah, it, 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 but it's, yeah, no, it's been, we, we got a really great deal on this, and, and uh, the, but the, the, the values, it's amazing how they, 